All right, Rick, let's move to number seven, where the Raiders currently find themselves. And in my latest mock draft, I had him taking Anthony Richardson. I don't know how this is going to work. This was before Jimmy Garoppolo was signed, and there are going to be a lot of moving parts trying to figure out what's going on here. So what have the Raiders done thus far? They added Jimmy G, as I mentioned. They signed Jacoby Myers. And, and then the Patriots went and signed Juju Smith-Schuster to the exact same deal, which is yeah. sort of funny. Uh, they added Marcus Epps and Philip Dorsett. And they they traded Darren Waller to the to the Giants, which seems like sort of a big deal, uh, especially when Jimmy G doesn't necessarily push the ball down the field a lot, and he likes to rely on rely on his tight ends, which is, is not a slight against him. But you wonder what their plan is going to be after that. Um, they also re up Jerry Tillery, the former first round pick from Los Angeles. The Chargers didn't work out. Jared Sidham is gone to Denver, and of course, Derek Carr, as I mentioned, is gone to New Orleans. Clee Farrell, their former first-round pick, signed with the 49ers, which is also interesting. So the Raiders here, what do you do at seven? Do you think about trading down a good ways to get one of these tight ends, and there could be three or four in the first round, or do you wait till rounds two or three to do that because this class is so deep a tight end? Do you take best available defensive player? Do you think about bolstering the offensive line to help new quarterback Jimmy G? What do you think about at seven? Well, you, you have not taken Richardson, and I can see that. Uh, they signed Jimmy G, which is a similar situation that Seattle is with Geno Smith. Uh, it's only a short-term three-year deal, bridge gap type veteran quarterback. You can bring in Anthony Richardson in here, or I don't know if Will Levis would fall there, but one may fall to where Vegas is, and they have to seriously consider the quarterback. They do need edge rushers like crazy. They can help get help on the defensive side of the ball. Um, you know, they're trying to fill the uh, receiver position, adding a couple of veterans that have been around the block a few times, but no one's spectacular. Jacoby Myers is the best and knows the system, so him and Jimmy G should be on the same page right away. Tight end, I think they can get in the second round because there are so many, but I think that Jimmy G, I don't know even know who their backup quarterback is right now, if they even have one. So if you go quarterback, uh, get a young guy, let, let him, you know, I think it was the same thing that San Francisco was planning, have Jimmy G be the, the gap guy until Trey Lance was ready to go. Right. Unfortunately, Trey Lance has been hurt. So maybe this is a very similar situation where if they do like Anthony Richardson, that they, uh, bring him and bring him along slowly. And then once Jimmy G is done, they should be, uh, set at quarterback. Chase Garbers is the backup out of Cal, so he's he's not the short-term or long-term solution there. So they have a need for another quarterback for sure. I thought it was interesting. Hunter Renfro's on the roster. There have been reports that maybe he's traded. Um, is Jacoby Myers a huge upgrade over Hunter Renfro, I would ask? Because I, I love oh, Hunter. Different. I think Jacoby Myers is an outside guy. I mean, okay. he can go in the slot, but he's being, he's, he's long. He gives him another vertical threat to go along with okay. Dante Adams. Uh, two different positions, two different style of receivers. All right. That was very nice of you to say it the way you did because uh, you could have could have been meaner about it, so I appreciate that. No, I appreciate everything that you do and all the work you put into this show. And uh, Although it makes no sense on some of the stuff you do in your mocks, but that's <laughs> – There it is. <laughs> we're, we're getting better. By the way, the, the Raiders have also have the 38th pick. So to your point – you know, a Luke Musgrave, a Dalton Kincaid, a Darnell Washington, any number of those guys could potentially be there. I can't envision a situation where four tight ends go in the first round. I do believe, however, 45, pick 45, I said four tight ends go before or after. And I think you said fewer than four go before pick 45. So we'll see. That'll be Was right that there. A dollar bet? Yeah. Okay. 